All right, guys, about to get real with you. I am going to be stepping away from Beard Brand. Uh, this is a pretty serious thing for me. And uh, I want to tell you guys uh, what's going on, why I'm doing it, and what you can expect for the future. So, uh, you know, I'll. <laughs> uh, this is something that I really honestly never expected. Uh, would happen. I think uh, you think about it, but and you think maybe there might be a day, but this uh, not like this. So uh, for those who who know the beard brand journey, I used to be a financial advisor way back in the day. Uh, wearing the suit and tie, shaving my face, looking completely different than this. Uh, what happened is I, you know, quit that job. Uh, started investing in my grooming routine, started growing my beard out. And in that process of uh, growing my beard out, people called me Grizzly Adams, Easy Top, Duck Dynasty, uh, you name it. But I, I'm not those guys either. I'm not the suit and tie Wall Street guy and I'm not the, the Grizzly Adams. I'm just, I'm just kind of the, a normal dude. I know some of my haters like to call me a hipster and if you want to call me a hipster, that's fine as well. But I would just say I'm a normal dude who likes to play around with different stuff. Now, uh, um, during that process, uh, I started meeting other guys like me, you know, stay at home dads, entrepreneurs, business people, um, lawyers, doctors, uh, you name it, just kind of like your typical dudes who were starting to invest in their style. And that's when I got the inspiration for Beard Brand and uh, really started calling ourselves Urban Beardsmen as a way to do that. And what had happened is, uh, I'm telling you the history of Beard Brand because like this, this is a pretty big moment for me. So Beard Brand started off uh, really as a side project. It started off with uh, the YouTube channel. We had a Tumblr account back in the day. And I had a buddy, John Reisinger, who like helped create the YouTube channel. And it was really like kind of like this, this uh, I always had this vision for like this lifestyle company. Um, but in those early days, it was just a, a side project uh, for me and him. And then he kind of like moved on to other things. He had a baby. And then I just kind of kept it running on Tumblr and uploading a couple of videos on YouTube. And it wasn't until I connected with my business partners, Jeremy and Lindsay, that we realized that, hey, you know, maybe we can make this a business. Maybe we can, um, you know, make an e-commerce business and make a little more money on the side rather than just be a side hobby. It was going to be a side business. So we started that and continue to create content for you guys and, and really like, it was a side project. You know, we made a, the company made money. I didn't make any money, but the company made money by selling products. And um, what, what was really interesting in this journey and where I'm getting to and why I'm talking about stepping away from the company is uh, the, the, the company, the website launched uh, January 28th, 2013 is when we launched the, the website. And what happened was like literally two weeks later, uh, my wife and I, uh, we found out that we were pregnant. And, you know, for most people, that's not that big of a deal. Everyone uh, talks about how they get pregnant all the time. This was 2013. But what a lot of people may not know about me is that we started trying to have kids way back in like 2008. Uh, my wife and I, we went through a couple of miscarriages uh, 2008, 2009, and then as we found out that this uh, pregnancy thing wasn't working on its own, we went out and we started to look for help. So we started that process 2000, uh, I think about around 2010, 2011. During this time period, uh, I would remember going on trips to Seattle because we had to, to do the whole IVF thing. So we did a, a round and in uh, Seattle and uh, after uh, taking the embryos uh, none of them were like viable to um, implant after five days of, of letting them incubate so we had a, a really long drive home from Seattle to Spokane um, which was a really hard car ride we did that again uh, we did a, a transfer in three days uh, hoping that the embryos would thrive in my wife's uh, body. Unfortunately, uh, that that was not successful as well. And then we uh, we went back for a third time, and this time we did uh, genetic 
testing on the embryos to see if any of them would uh, be successful. And uh, we came back on a car ride from that, not doing a transfer either because none of the embryos uh, were able to thrive. So um, tens of thousands of dollars uh, of investment into having a family, none of that, none of that worked for us. So what, what we did differently is we're very fortunate and blessed that Anne's best friend uh, donated her eggs to us and we were able to um, finally, finally uh, to have success. And if you guys know, or if you guys have gone through infertility, four rounds of IVF, um, you, can never, you can never enjoy the journey. You can never appreciate uh, what's happening because you're always worried that you're gonna have another miscarriage or the, the, the baby's not gonna thrive. And uh, it was the whole way with our firstborn, with, uh, with my daughter. And we had a couple of scares in there as well. So you're kind of on what's in and then, then like you don't really believe it until it actually happens. And then our baby was born in November of 2013. And I kind of bring that back to Beard Brand because Beard Brand at the time it was a side project. And for any of you guys who have ever gotten pregnant, you know like the, <laughs> the feeling that goes in your mind and your body as, as a future father is like, holy cow, I, I've got to figure out a way to provide for my family, support my family and give them all the things that they need uh, to be healthy and to grow and, and to be safe. So for me, like Beard Brand was like this make or break thing. I had to get Beard Brand off the ground to be able to support my family or if I wasn't able to grow it, then I had to go back and find a job and get something that could support my wife and my future baby. So fortunately, we were lucky that we were able to grow Beard Brand to a size that uh, I wouldn't say like necessarily supported uh, the family the way I could working for someone else, but it could do enough to put food on the table, put a roof over our head and show the potential of what the company could do. So um, by November of 2013, uh, if you guys follow my Instagram, you know that, that we had a beautiful baby. Uh, the challenges never stop. Uh, I think like uh, she ended up getting like a very slight jaundice. So we called her Yelinor for a couple of days because she's all, if you got a kid, you know what I'm talking about. But you know, uh, the, the growth as a father continues. So the story continues. I'm, I'm doing a lot of rambling and I hope you guys are really sticking around with me because this is a very important subject. Uh, talking about why I'm stepping away. Uh, we continued to uh, try to have kids after our daughter was born. And uh, we did uh, another round uh, a few years ago where we did, implanted another embryo and unfortunately that failed uh, to thrive. And then we uh, implanted uh, two more embryos, did another round. Uh, we got to the point where both of them showed a heartbeat and then um, couple of weeks later, uh, <laughs> those failed uh, to thrive as well. And then, uh, man, I think we did, we did another, <laughs> we did another, uh, and, and that, that failed to thrive. And uh, if, if you're getting a, if you're getting a, <laughs> a theme here, uh, it's that we struggle with infertility and it's, it's very difficult. Now, in this time period, my wife also got pregnant uh, naturally, uh, but in about a month, she miscarried. And then like just a month later, like during the holiday season, she again got pregnant. And I'll remember, I'll remember what I said at the time. Uh, it was, you know, where most people are, are happy about their pregnancies. I said, I'm sorry. Because I knew that a miscarriage was on the way. You know, it was during the holiday season and we're not at home. And sure enough, uh, a few weeks later, she miscarried. So, um, <laughs> I continue, this story is a, rambling in it and it's it's kind of a downer and and i want to be vulnerable for you guys because i know some of you guys are struggling with this as well 
Now, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I went to Denmark this uh, summer ago. I spent six weeks in Denmark. Uh, I took my wife and kid with me. Uh, I worked remote. We did uh, some collaborations with Sorry Mom Tattoo. Uh, we met up with Ben Wilson, and uh, that's kind of where we uh, took some photographs and talked about getting him on the channel. And uh, something, something happened back then, and my wife got pregnant again. Uh, but for whatever reason, this time I didn't say I'm sorry because... It was just kind of weird. Like it was, it was weird. Like being in Denmark, um, away from like a lot of the day-to-day -day stresses that we have here in America. You know, away from the norms. Uh, kind of like slower pace uh, going on in Denmark. And uh, just like you know, if you guys have been to Denmark, you know uh, what a happy place it is. And especially in the summertime when you have so much daylight, it's just like a really great experience. We're going to Legoland. Uh, the lego house we we're just having a great time and uh turns out that after uh she got pregnant she's <laughs> we had a rush in denmark to to get some drugs to help with the pregnancy and of course we don't speak danish and they're all on holiday and da -da -da. We, we were able to make it work we flew home my wife was worried about having a miscarriage uh, on the uh, on the plane uh, but fortunately when we got back we didn't have a miscarriage and then we went to the doctor found out that she, uh, she uh, had a little baby in there with a little bit of heartbeat. And, uh, you know, uh, after nine, uh, nine different loss, pregnancy losses, you know, you, you never plan on, you know, you don't, one win and nine losses, you, you kind of know that the things are not in your favor. So you just, you stay quiet. You don't talk about it. You don't tell your friends. You don't share the good news because that good news could become bad news. Well, you know, that six week heart, heartbeat came back and eventually became, you know, uh, 12 weeks. And if you guys have ever had kids, you know that at 12 weeks, uh, you're kind of out of the danger zone, that, that miscarriage zone. So we started to have like a, a little bit of, a little bit of hope. And then, you know, uh, 12 weeks became, 14 weeks became, 16 weeks. And then she started showing. So if you saw like, uh, the beard trimming video, you, you saw uh, she had a little little pooch. She wasn't fat. Uh, she was pregnant. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm making this video to tell you that um, what I'm doing is I'm stepping away to focus on uh, my newborn and to focus on our new baby. It's... Uh, uh, at this point, uh, the baby hasn't been born yet, but uh, we expect it to be a boy based on the ultrasound. So uh, we'll have a little baby boy Banholtz, and uh, I'm taking a month away from the business to focus on my family. So what I want to tell you is you're probably not going to be seeing uh, as many videos from me in the past. I'm going to try to record a few of these, so there's some gaps, but there may be some, some time uh, that I'm not in there. And I also want to tell you guys to be patient with my team, to support my team, to uh, help them along in the journey, to, to help support us while I'm away. You know, maybe tell your friends about Beard Brand, tell your friends about the products you buy, and, uh, you know, help support the company while I'm away. Because I know there is going to be uh, a little bit of a strain with me being out of the office uh, for a month and, and focusing on my family. So I tell you, I'm stepping away, uh, but it's really the best kind of stepping away than I could have ever imagined. Um, by having a, having a kid of our own, uh, <laughs> the old fashioned way. Who knew that, uh, who knew that could work? So uh, uh, happy times in the Banholtz family. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, coming along for the journey. Uh, and uh, you know, maybe I'll show a picture too. I, I tend to keep my private life mostly private, but Follow me on Instagram and maybe I'll throw a photo up there. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm not going to be too active on social media. Not too active on YouTube. Uh, not too active uh, writing emails or anything like that. But I do appreciate your support. And uh, I'll probably be logging into this video and reading the comments. We're going to post this video uh, when that kid pops out. So, or shortly thereafter. So, uh, hope it all goes well. Wish me luck. Cheers.
keep on growing.